Hi, okay, I'm, so I'm putting together a quick tutorial on how to make a foundation and then also how to do a roof. So first thing you're gonna wanna do when you wanna make a foundation, obviously you're gonna create a room. Oh, let me use this one here, there we go. So there's your room. Now up at the top here, you see where my cursor is at the very top of the screen? You're going to want to click on the arrow and then click on your room. You can see in your room here that there's this arrow, this up and down arrow in the middle of the room. This actually helps you create your foundation. It can lower it and it can bring it up. What you want to do is put your cursor on it Hold your left mouse button down and pull up. And you can pull up, you want to make it as high as you want. You can make it really high. Or you can make it low. Like so. I'll put it right here so you can see what I'm doing. Actually, I'll bring it up one more time. There we go. There. Okay. So now that you have your foundation, you can go into the foundation paints and you can paint your foundation on it. Like so, just like that. You can also add a porch. Like so. And since you already have your foundation, the porch will also match that foundation and then you can paint that like so the um, also you can change the color of this if you want it to be that color you just click on the there'll be a sidebar here with the paints just click on that and then you can choose your paint I like this brown one now. that's nice okay so then for roofing, I'm just going to undo this. Undo. Okay. So for roofing, um, what you want to do, if you make just a house like that, so your house is like that, and you put a roof on it, you say the general roof, like so. And then it's just your basic house, right? Or you can put this roof on. Same thing, just basic. You can also, let's push that back in a little. You can also bring this down by touching the cursor up here. You can go down, you can go up, make it even taller. I put this roof on completely wrong. So you, if your roof doesn't go on right, you can move it. A better way to do this, make your builds more interesting and make your roof, roofs more interesting, is just building multiple um, squares or rectangles. You can just do whatever you want. You build a large rectangle and then a square and then another rectangle up here. Maybe pull this back like that and put that there like so and bring it up here. I'm gonna bring that up one more like that. So you've got your rectangles here. One uh, way you could do this is you take this uh, roof here, the gabled roof, and you turn it this way. Like that. 
So now you have the roof going in this direction, right? Now you can take a gabled roof and turn it in this direction. And so you can just pull this back all the way because it's the same size like that. You don't have to do it this way if you don't want that line there, but if you if you do, this is fine. And then you can do the same thing on the other side. Like that. Yeah, now you have a, a more interesting more interesting home looking home and looking a more interesting looking roof another thing you can do to make your roofs look better is to add um, the trim there's lots of trims here you just click on this area here where I have my cursor on the house it's right there where it's lit up in blue and then you can add a roof trim to it like that all in there. Another thing you can do with it, let me put some paint on so this is easier to see. Put on some paint. Okay, another thing you can do with the trim is if you put your cursor, put your cursor down from the roof a little bit, it'll add trim like that. So you have some trim going across the bottom of the roof as well. You don't have to do that, but you can if you want to. So, another thing that's helpful is um, when there is a thing you want to do, say you're working, working on the roof, you want to put your roof on, your roof down there, you want to turn it. So you hold your cursor over the turn button, it'll show you the keyboard sh um, shortcuts, your keyboard shortcuts to rotate it. So you don't have to click on it every time. You can click on it once and then uh, rotate it using the keys you see there. Also um, up here on the bar at the very top, if you can see up there, it also gives you the keyboard shortcuts, but there are a lot of um, shortcuts that you can do. And usually it will tell you what the shortcuts are if you hold your cursor over it. So also, if you want to get rid of things easily, you just click on the sledgehammer at the top. That will do it this way. See how this is lit up yellow and that's lit up yellow. That means it's going to take that away. Then you can undo it if you want to. So hopefully that's helpful. And once you've um, done this for a while, you'll it'll get easier for you to figure it out. I'm just now learning how to do roofs like this one over here you see next at the house next door. I just learned how to do that last night. So it takes time. You know, I've been playing The Sims for years and years and I'm just I'm still learning things. So hopefully that's helpful and take care. Bye.